Let's talk about how to shift, avoid, and change your bad luck today. If you click on this video, I'm sure you heard of lucky girl syndrome. You probably even practice it. But for some reason, it only works in a certain short period of time or it doesn't work at all for you. Now you're wondering, is it just me? Am I just born bad luck? And when the bad luck come to you, it seems to come in many different times. And sometimes it's very extreme to the point you can't help but start doubting your fate. Even if the lucky girl syndrome somehow work on you, it suddenly stops. Nothing moves or even worse, everything starts shifting the other way around. You feel this heavy energy, lost and confused. What happened? The more you try to brush it off and trying to lie to yourself and thinking, no, this is not it, this cannot be your fate, the worse you are sinking into toxic positivity because you don't know what to do with yourself anymore. If this sounds familiar, watch this video and make sure you stay until the end of the video because I'm giving you all the juiciest tips, my own experiences and how to solve bad luck. I was in a rut of many bad luck for the last whole year and a half. Luckily, my luck has changed. And it's amazing because I just got a new car. I started to work again for my family business. And this time I am the owner of the shop. I did not even put out a dollar. Yet whatever I make, I get to keep now. And within these time frame that everything is happening to me, it's only been a month. That explains the reason why I've been MIA on YouTube a lot. And today I don't have my makeup on, my extension on like usual, but this message, y'all, is so deep and is so powerful that I think you need to know. Let's move beyond lucky girl syndrome and be realistic. Get rid of the bad luck that's keeping you behind. As usual, before I go into the how, I like to dive really deep into the why. Because we want to go deep into the root of the problem and solve it from there. I genuinely believe that if you solve problem from the surface, even though it seems like everything is going through, you will soon enough fall back into the old previous pattern and we don't want that. Hi, my name is Delilah. Welcome to my channel. Let's dive right in. Let's talk about the reason for our bad luck. Number one thing is it is a test from the universe. I know, don't roll your eyes at me. You probably hear this before and you're thinking, what am I just going to wait until I'm passing this test? There are way too many tests. Yes, you are right. We are living to leveling up. Okay, If you stop thinking of life as something that you want perfection, you want happiness all the time, just accept it, honey. We are living in a video game and we are solving this matrix one door by one. If you start to understand it and get your logical mind, your problem solving mind going, things will change. I promise you that. Before you level up, the universe will give you a test. Now, the test is hard or easy. It's all depending on your level of how much you've been working on yourself and how much do you want to level up. If you are manifesting the moon, okay, don't expect to have little problem coming through. Don't expect that everything will go so smooth that you will just grab the moon in your hand in any time. No, it doesn't work that way. So why is that? The universe wants to see if you can deal with problems when shit hits the fans. Are you even strong enough for your manifestation or are you just all talk but no action? The next thing is you need to understand that life is up and down. We are living in a world of yin and yang, in a balanced world. You can't expect only light without darkness. Without the gloomy days, you can't appreciate the sun and the beautiful flowers that blooming from those rainy days. Next point is when it's rain, it pours. It's really rare that you only meet one problem whenever you having bad luck. They tend to come in three folds. You don't just meet a little bad luck and your life just flip upside down and then you hitting all the jackpot again. So you need to accept that. Even though it would be so awesome if it can just flip like that, but it's a part of life. When things finally flip you can truly enjoy it. Have you ever heard of 
in the bad luck, there is the luck. What does that mean? Let's say you have a car trouble or flat tired on the freeway. It could save you from an accident that's supposed to happen. Let's say if you lose your money, it could go and sacrifice for you instead of your health. If you catch your partner cheating on you and you are going through a breakup, you might think that it's the end of the world. But it's actually leading you to the right partner of your life who is meant to be with you. The next thing, I'm going to say it. Karma is a bitch. Have you ever, let's be honest, feel a certain type of satisfaction when you don't see people achieve what they want in life? When someone that you don't have a good relationship with, you kind of have problem with them, fail or their business plan didn't go through. Whatever that happened to them, their relationship didn't work out. Even though you open your mouth and you say, oh, poor them, I feel bad for them. But deep inside, there's this ha 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 in your stomach. That's what you get. Be completely honest, okay? Because if you say one thing, oh, I don't do that. But deep inside, if you're not aware that you are feeling a little satisfaction, that people are falling, that means you are BSing and... That's how it gonna keep coming back, okay? So catch yourself when you feel a little satisfaction, when people are falling, when you're not truly happy for them and you laughing behind their back, you gossiping about them. In Vietnamese, we have a quote, Cười người hôm trước, hôm sau người cười. You're laughing at me today. I'll be laughing at you tomorrow. And it's a hundred percent accurate. I will show you what to do if you already accidentally let that happen and you can see the result right away. Whatever you're laughing at them is happening to you in a different way. Your action can be intentionally or unintentionally hurting someone, but it's all going to come back to you. So be very careful about the choices in life that you are doing, especially within the next two years, because it is still the karmic year. The next thing is, there's another quote, Gay ông đập lưng ông, which means his stick shall hit him in the back. <laughs> yeah, Vietnamese, we have some deep quote, but it's funny when I translate into English because it's not that similar exact meaning, but you'll understand what I mean. Next thing is, if this is the year that meant for you to face with challenge your animal years the karmic years mercury retrograde full moon the month of dark energy which is uh, last month july but the under calendar the chinese calendar so that whole month i have to be extra careful because there were a lot of energy going around it could trigger people to act crazy or get into argument with you don't let yourself be argumentative back to them and allow an energy to take over you i will talk detail about it in another video but you have to kind of understand that not everything will always be smooth unfortunately even our fate so if you are paying attention like last year was my animal year and many people told me that when it's your year is you're gonna have a lot of bad luck a few people would meet the good luck, but it's really rare. However, every 12 year, you will hit an animal year. When I hit my animal year, I refuse to believe that some bad luck is going to happen for me because I have a very strong mindset of the law of attraction. And I'm like, if I keep attracting positive thing and do positive thing, then nothing can happen to me. I refuse to believe it. Talk about stubborn. I am that stubborn person. It freaking hit me on the face really hard okay the first very first few days of chinese new year i'm already have to pay back for the karma that i did in the past not very proud of myself but i paid for it a long time and then that whole year went to shit after that i went into mong mode the very next year and i stay in mong mode i just got out and i can tell you the energy is different because now i feel like i'm already healing all the karmics problem that I create and I build enough good karma that I genuinely believe that it's my time to receive good thing now so I'm really excited to update with you guys about what's going to happen soon because I am confident you can't avoid it when it's your time that the bad luck will come especially your animal years and the month of dark energy come out or mercury retrograde sometimes things don't go your way 
But does that mean that you are going to sit there and be a victim of your life? Absolutely not. Keep watching and I'll tell you exactly what to do during this time. Last problem that we have for bad luck is when people sending evil eyes toward you. Negative energy, dark energy, hatred, jealousy. The worst case could be hex and curse. In the United States, we hear about it, but not very much. But in Asia, there are a lot of people doing stuff like that. So I'm very familiar with it. Here's what to do. Now we're entering the good part. The solution for the problem. The first one that I talk about, the test from the universe. I want you to take a step back. Look directly at the problem. Ask yourself, what solution can you get from this? Write down as many as you can. Focus and write out 100, I don't care, 200, even though it sounds ridiculous. It doesn't make any sense. But then after that, you will filter out the solution for this problem. Just like when we are brainstorming, this is when the most creative problem solving can come out. So don't force yourself to just think of one thing. Try to figure out many ways that you can solve your problem and then filter from there. Staying calm is the key to go through this, to the crisis that the universe test is giving you. The outer environment can shake, okay? But if you are built strong and steady, like a strong boat, nothing. No turmoil can hit you, can break you. It can make you shake a little bit. But you can learn to go with the flow versus trying to swim upstream. To be honest, it's best to control our emotion versus the situation because we can't always control the situation. We have to learn to go with the flow. There's really no need to try and control everything. It will drive you insane. After that, you are going to ask yourself, what lesson did you learn from this? How can you use it for the future to be even better? to solve problem better, faster, and more accurate. Understand that this is a test and play the game accordingly. Even if you lose, don't allow victim mindset to take over. Head to the next plan. Use it as a strategy to get up, to level up. Only then you can show the universe that you are ready for your manifestation, for what you desire to come through with ease. Surrender and trust is the key for this. Having faith and allow the problem to pass by itself if there's nothing you can do about it without having any reaction to it. This leads to the next one. Once you stop expecting only absolute best thing to happen to you, I want you to know this is a very ego-driven mindset. And I had that for the longest time. You can think positive and try to look at it at even when the shittiest thing happened, it's still the best thing because you are still taking and improving yourself, getting the lesson from it. Then yes, you should change to this mindset instead. I am being taken care of no matter what. I have the strength and ability to deal with any adversity coming my way. I can overcome it all. It's a bad day. Not a bad life. Sometimes maybe a bad month, a bad year, but that doesn't mean it's a bad life. Believe me, because when it's finally turned around, it's going to be beautiful. Sweeter after difficulty. If you can learn to have peace during the chaos, instead of nagging and complaining, because this will actually bring more bad luck to you. Energy flow where attention go. Wherever your attention, you keep thinking about the problem, you keep trying to complain, you will bring more problem into your life and more complaints, more things that you need to complain about. I'm sure if you watch my channel, you understand the basic concept of this. If you can't do anything about it, don't waste your energy. Even stressing about it. Now let's talk about the next one. When it's rain, it's poor, okay? And... This is a concept that is pretty crazy because we can be soaking wet. It eventually will stop. It has to stop. So if when it's sunny, the flower will bloom. It's going to have a brand new start after this. Look at the deeper meaning and the type of person you will become after you overcome all these challenges. After you are being soaking wet in the rain. Not everybody got it easy. Even with Dr. Joe Dispenza, he was in a wheelchair for a while before he started his practice as a brain coherent to heart and healing many others. 
Mel Robin was an alcoholic and she had so many problems with her relationship with her husband. She was addicted to drama. There are so many people going through the worst thing. I'm going to be brutally honest with you right now. We are privileged. The people in Vietnam are dying. Okay, the middle part of Vietnam are flooded right now with like rain and storm. I try to donate some money and I just been praying that this can be over soon because so many people lose their family. People don't even have a place to bury their body because it's just floating everywhere. It's really sad and we're still living here. You're watching this through a phone. You have a roof over your head. Then you are really, really privileged and lucky. So your problem aren't that big. I don't care how big it is. It's not as big as watching somebody's, your family's body flowing. Okay. And, and helpless. Can't do anything about it. And the next one. Let's talk about karma, baby. I understand that it's really hard. Especially when you are around people. When I was in monk mode, it's easy for me to keep my head clear and not associate with too many people and letting the energy get on me. But now that I'm out there again in the world, sometimes when you sit at the table and people are going to gossip, they're going to talk about things and the workplace. And it's not like you can just get up and leave, you know, even though you really want to. But here's the thing that I want you to remember. These people who are trying to bring you down with these low vibration, if you are reacting and associate with it, your ugly characters will come out. This is the year that a lot of people cannot hide their ugly character. And we have been tested a lot. If you have paid attention, all your wounds and problems tend to show a little bit more this year versus the other years even though you think that you've healed that part of you but it seems like the energy is trying to pull it back out from you i want to remind you that you can work on yourself for straight three years hardcore but just three months three weeks three days three hours of sitting there and gossiping and talking shit on other people's life and bringing them down laughing at their pain you just going to collect karma that will hit you right in the face so what is all the good deeds that you've been doing for three years it just go to waste this is why i avoid drinking because when i drink sometimes i can't hold my mouth and i don't want to let any energy take over my body karma will not skip you i don't care how important you think you are okay karma doesn't let anybody slide and it is still a karmic year i'm going to repeat it again i said it in a few of my previous video you will get what you give instantly like in the past it will take some time a few months few years for it to happen but now you can see right away whatever you do it will come back right away it's like the next day the next hour the next minute you don't even have to wait that long and the reason why it happened is because when you are happy that other people are being in pain and hurting and not achieving what they want what you're doing is you're sending out a message to the universe that you would like for that to happen to you because it's the happy energy that you can see that they're hurting in pain or whatever then the universe doesn't understand what you want versus how you are vibrating the universe is going to okay granted wish you wanted to laugh at misery let me just give you some misery so you can be laughing at them because you laugh about it with other people right think about it it's real it's not a joke here's a trick that i've learned whenever you plan to laugh at other people or being mean about them or having even just the thoughts in your stomach think about it what if this happened to you think about whatever that happened to the other person could happen to you right now do you think it's funny do you want to laugh about it exactly whenever i think about that i just shut my mouth okay i don't need to create any more negative karma and that is the way that i can shut my mouth and shut the ugly side of me if i ever want to you know laugh at the people that i don't like for having whatever karma that's hitting them it's, you're not god you're not invincible and don't have selective compassion that mean i love her so i feel bad for her but i don't care about her Ugh, i don't even like her so whatever <laughs> no don't do that if you have compassion then have compassion for everyone let's talk about what if it's your year or the eclipse or mercury retrograde or where the energy come out what do you do do you just 
do nothing no this is when i think it's best to go inside connect to your guides connect to your faith and work on yourself stop trying to flip it okay during my bad luck year i tried so hard i was like coming up with project everything just fell because it's not my year how stubborn can i be if you guys know how much i lost in the beginning of this years because i keep on thinking that oh it's my time i'm gonna go against it i don't believe that it's supposed to be bad luck no mm -mm. It hit me really hard. I lose a lot of money. It's best to work on your skill and be patient. Sit there and get ready to swing back when it's your time. Just like a soldier, right? When they are feeling like they're losing the war, it's not very clever to keep fighting. You need to know when to withdraw, build yourself up, be patient and wait for the right moment and attack when it's your time. Think about you not as a victim, but a diamond working under pressure in the process of making of becoming the sharpest the brightest the most expensive diamond out there focus on working on your inner self during your time where it's constantly bad luck just keep hitting you for example like i said i've been hide out for the last eight months and now i'm back i feel like it's my time again and it's crazy i only been back for a month but a lot of good things happen to me constantly and I cannot stop thanking the universe for it. Now, if I did not go inside and work on myself and have the business mindset that I've gained during these times because I've read so many books and I learned. When I come back out to the same environment, I don't allow people to treat me the same. I don't allow myself to become a doormat, to be under value. And the only way for you to do that strong and safely because sadly we are under a lot of hierarchy and patriarchy as a woman okay we are oppressed so you need to untangle that before you come back into the real world that is the only way that you can be strong enough and stand for your rights it's not a waste of time it's about embracing your feminine energy and allow things to flow to you while getting into hermit mode and just learning silently without blah blah to the whole world to know okay last but not least people entity dark energy the enemy okay you can call it whatever if you you believe in jesus that's the other way demon enemies dark energy and just human out there sadly people are not that nice they would change you they would curse and hex or send dark energy toward you so how do you get out from this situation let's say you keep meeting so many bad luck and you don't understand why the first thing you need to do is you need to keep your vibration high now how can you do it there are many ways you can do and it's just not just one or two steps i need to make a separate video about this otherwise it's going to be the next hour but you need to do what it takes they cannot attack you sometimes even if you don't give permission but if you are vibrating low and you listen to mainstream music unconsciously you listen to all these demon or devil worshiping music then you are giving them the permission without knowing you're doing it you're going out you're doing drugs and you drink alcohol and you get butt drunk and you're like i didn't get the permission for the dark energy to take over me then why am i still feeling like shit? your portals are open that is the biggest energy consent that you are doing you're asking them to enter you you need to create bubble that means before you go out to a place where you know there will be a lot of energy and you will be surrounded by many people close your eyes and imagine there's a protection bubble in gold silver lavender whatever color that you feel safest the most and imagine that that bubble is protecting you anything bounce into you will bounce right back out at them there was a time that i literally would send the energy back to sender if somebody sent me the bad energy at this point right now i don't do that i send energy that are not mine to mother earth i send it to her so she can recycle it and turn it to nutrient that help the plants the tree the animals 
something else but i don't send it back to sender because i really don't feel like i need to karma will take care of it i am a big believer in karma when i get home and i feel heavy i don't feel good i would instantly clean the house okay take a shower because bad energy they don't want you to be clean they want to keep you dirty that is why you see a lot of depressed people laying in the dark in the room where it's so dirty and smelly because dark energy want to keep them that way. So fight it. Fight the resistance of just want to lay down doing nothing to get up and clean the house, clean the room, take a shower, take a salt bath. Um, rub salt on your body and imagine that you're washing up all the negativity send it to the water mother earth and let it flow out of your system use sage i love sage and i would open all windows i would say a prayer i would ask the energy that doesn't belong here i ask you to kindly leave this place only love and light my stay only energy that want the best for me because you want your spirit guys and your ancestor the good one okay not our ancestor are good to stay and protect you so when you do that you will eliminate the energy that don't belong there and you open the window and you can watch them leave literally my sage the smoke would come out of the window sometimes i would do it in front of candle but again i need another video for that it's gonna be so long i'm just happy that i get to talk to what i genuinely believe in because i've been just holding this stuff back for a long time because i'm scared of being judged but at this point right now hey it worked for me so i'm gonna share i don't make you believe or force you believe in what i believe in but if you click on this channel video and you watch my channel then i think i have the right to say what i want to say right it's my channel i'm not hurting anybody last but not least take care of your mental health when your mental health is strong your physical body is strong they cannot attack you they can only attack the weak they can only attack the one that's unsure the one that's living in fear the one that living in guilt i'm not saying that don't feel guilty for the wrong thing you do but look at the guilt and see what you can learn from it how you can level up from there but don't use it to be sunken dark into hating the life that you are in wishing to turn back in time because you can't and don't blame yourself people out there can bash you for doing and making a mistake but let's be honest if they were in your shoes who know maybe they've done the same thing or worse don't get mad at the past you for not knowing better only look at it see what you can learn from there and move on from it all right that's all i have for today it's a long video and i send you so much love and light might you be protected and have the best coming luck love you bye bye